so hot take. It's not the bagels that are the best in New York City. It's everything that's on the bagels. I'm walking through Central Park right now, and on the way here, I stopped at a little bagel shop called Bagel & Co. right behind the uh, American Natural History Museum. And I got a bagel with locks. And what they handed to me was locks with a bagel. It ended up being probably a quarter pound of locks, an entire onion, an entire tomato, just the whole shebang. Probably, I don't know, half a container of cream cheese. It was, it was a surreal experience, and it makes the ones in Austin look mediocre at best. So yeah, it's not the bread which was, you know, comparable to things I've had elsewhere. It was 100% the toppings. So yeah, now I'm here in Central Park, wandering around. And I'm gonna go see a few things before heading to the museum. Apparently, this is the largest collection of dinosaurs anywhere. What a name. Guess what I found? Actual fossilized Loch Ness monster. And there's even a bigger one up there. How I feel after several days on the road. Look at that spiky vertebra. I'm forced to wonder what kind of ribeye you could get off of that. Or better yet, what kind of tenderloin. Like that is the mother of all drummers. Look at the antlers on this guy. This is the moral equivalent to actual horse feathers. Look at this. The less cute sloths. This guy really was just a living panzer. But if you take off the horns and all the plating, it kind of looks like a cow skull. Walnut brain. And on the space side of things, there's a theater in that giant ball. That's where I went to see a wonderful tour in 3D of essentially the solar system. So I could have spent all day in there. There's just so much to see that half a day really wasn't going to cut it. Uh, as it is, even the exhibits that I saw, the dinosaurs, the space side of things, really only hit about, you know, half saturation on those two. Unfortunately, I got other places to be today. So I'm heading down right now to do a little diplomacy. But first, we're gonna stop in at a couple iconic landmarks. Look at this thing. Grand Central Terminal. Might be hard to tell from here, but the ceiling is covered in constellations. And there she is, 
lit against the sun, the Chrysler Building. Not only is it the most symbolic building of the Art Deco period, it's also one of my favorite styles of all time. So apparently the new management team is a little paranoid about getting it defaced. So they wouldn't let me walk too far in and they wouldn't let me film inside, but I have to say, it was gorgeous. Look at that. So that's where the vaccines are made. Right here, through those doors. And look at that. The unostentatious United Nations headquarters. So I'm here a little bit early for my tour. And the uh, cafe is closed. So I should spend some time in the UN gift shop. So I just finished the United Nations tour. They didn't really like us taking any video in there, but I did manage to sneak some inside the uh, Security Council room and the General Assembly chamber and the Sculpture Garden. And by this wonderful gun statue. Now I get to visit Grand Central again and actually get on a train. Welcome to the Met. This is the most actual weaponry I think I've seen. If I lived here, I'd have to learn how to read this. And of course, everyone and their brother taking the selfies between the two statues. That's a really cool way to do it. Really good way to crack the back. It's like a church inside the museum. This museum cafe knows what it's doing. Live music and a charcuterie plate. An actual ingot from the Ulibarun shipwreck. Never thought I'd see one in the flesh. Should I shoot for this, uh, this facial hair? All right, well the Met was gorgeous. Now I'm on my way to my last major stop of the evening. I have orchestra seats for Phantom of the Opera. And while we're out here, welcome to the massively chaotic Times Square. There's like 10,000 people here. Let's move on. And there it is, the Majestic Theater. I was told specifically I can't film inside, so until tomorrow, good night. <laughs>